you guys pretty here and I just saw prisoners so I just saw this with my sister and my grandparents and uh this movie looks Oscar worthy that was a bit too long but I still really enjoy it I'm not gonna let the uh the length of the film bother me but um it was just really enjoyable so anyway these two girls get get um kidnapped by uh by someone and uh the father the uh well Hugh Jackman is trying to uh figure out who it is also Jake Gyllenhaal's character he's a detective he's also trying to figure out and so Hugh Jackman basically like takes um this kid take, takes like this uh I think he was like, I think he said he was like 26 or something, 26 years old or something like that. And, uh, he, uh, that was like the first suspect and, uh, Hugh Jackman just basically interrogates him inside like this old abandoned, um, I guess it's an apartment building or something. He basically tortured, tortures him in there and, um, and he builds like this, uh, wooden wall. Uh, that was built, uh, that, that is connected to the shower, and he basically just, he, ba he basically just, um, keeps him captive in there for a very long time, the guy, and, uh, and there's, like, this, like, little tube where, well, uh, which is the only, which is, uh, for him to, like, breathe out of and, like, also talk out of, and, uh, the guy, the guy didn't really talk that much because he, uh, I don't, I, his character didn't really talk that much to the kid, and he, uh, the detective said, uh, you're not gonna really get anything from him, he has the IQ of a 10 year old, and, um, and then, uh, so yeah, but, um, and I don't agree with Jeremy John saying that this movie's predictable, I didn't really think it was all that predictable, but, uh, my sister figured out who the kidnapper was. I'm not going to tell you who the kidnapper was. Because if I do, it basically gives away the whole movie. But, um, I found it very enjoyable. This kept me at the edge of my seat at the very, towards the end of the movie. And then, um, then the movie ends. It ends very abruptly. Uh, um, here's how the ending, uh, went down. Alright. Uh, uh, it makes you think that there's gonna be like an extra minute or two of the movie, and then uh, and then um, the screen just goes black, and then the lights came on, in unison like simultaneously. And, and then I and then everybody's like, wait, what? The car just go out in the theater, and then you see like the credits roll. Like, oh wait, let's just stay on credits. And then that pissed me off. It was like, really? That's how you 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 make people think that the, that the power went out during the movie even though it didn't. Yeah, it felt a bit abrupt. thought they should have done a little bit better than that. But, uh, I guess the guy was running out of, uh, memory on his, uh, I guess the, uh, cameraman ran out of memory on his camera, so they had to end it like that. But, uh, so yeah. I give Prisoners four stars out of five. By the way, the ending makes you think a little bit, because it's a basically sort of a cliffhanger but um so yeah not really a cliffhanger but never mind you'll if you see it you'll know what i mean